This video is sick. Stop that. Stop that. Quebec. Yeah, we're not far from home. Four and a half hours uh, in Quebec at Icar Marable. That's how you say it. Practice is about to start. It's Friday evening. Uh, we get three hours of practice and then they love to run night time drifting here. So like the competition starts tomorrow at seven um, and they love drifting out near the lights and with big crowds. So we're going to get some practice in, get our gearing right and have some fun. Camber to account for slight camber wear. Like that, we'll have to check the toe and then that'll be it. How's it all look? With the runs? Yeah, yeah. No, so I we're was... gonna drop the tire pressure, run fourth for leads. Okay. Thirds for chases, so the clutch is gonna be a lot happier. Yeah. I don't really work it much in the lead. No, no. Just matted with a little left foot yeah. and my odd handbrake. debacle with the tail light wiring but light work got it fixed up wiring guru over the phone with joy matt helped us out good vibes out here like in the cool weather that's it oh okay hey, yo let's practice man good yeah, we didn't have to do too many changes. Um, smaller track than I thought. Way smaller. Um, but tomorrow's competition day and we're going to bed. I got my kids here. Eli's pretty pumped to use the headset, although he just says hi over and over and over again. But yeah, it, it was good. So we'll see you guys in the morning.
checking the axle bolts for preventative maintenance. They tight? Uh, let's see. They're tight. Pretty good first couple practice runs. Spark plug wire came loose. Other than that, it's killing it. it looks super fast out there compared to everybody else. Yeah. I don't know. The tires are lasting super long, so it's gonna save us money, save us time, and we get to have a lot more fun. So we've been running with our uh, other FDF driver, Julian, and it's been sick because we're both super fast, aggressive, all that fun stuff. Um, so it's nice to tandem with the same person. It takes a lot of work in line, though. I gotta like tell the staff that I want to ride with him and stuff like that. But it's going really well. One more practice, qualifying and then uh, competition starts at seven tonight. Really fast paced. That's what I like about DMCC though. They run a tight ship. What's on the menu today, Troy? Oh, you know, the usual. Good old uh, hot dogs and hamburgers. I got a good helper too. Eli, are you helping out? Yeah. What do you think? Are you gonna hit up a hamburger or a hot dog? Um, I think a hot dog. Yeah? <laughs> Lizzie, what do you think? Hamburger or hot dog? What's your favorite? Uh, underneath it. Right underneath it. Like that. And then over. Just me. Yeah, it was slick because yeah. I, I thought I was going to be going faster towards the touch and go. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I got to extend this when yeah. normally I had enough speed. That's what happened. To me and too. it just kept slipping. Yeah. And I'm in fourth and it was like limiter. Yeah. Which is, it wasn't like that. Yeah. Sick. It's good, man. I'm sure we're in the show and then I guess there's a second run. Good. We just finished our drivers meeting. Um, we dropped like 14 drivers from qualifying because we're only doing top 16, not top 30. We probably say what we got. So we ended up with two 83s. Um, qualifying here is the same as FD from like three, four years ago. Uh, two runs, best run counts, all the rest of it. So we did both runs, first and second, were both 83s. Honestly, a really solid run. I would have thought it would have been scored a little higher than that, but. We can't really complain with that. So we're in the show. We're against uh, our good buddy, Mike Rice. So it'll be a really good battle either way. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do a little driver presentation, drive around, and then uh, we'll be into it. So stay tuned. Uh, we're going to the top 16 ceremonies. And then after that, it's gonna be like really fast paced. 16, eight, four finals. And then I think they have a top three or third place battle. Um, so it's gonna be fun. They really like to party here. and celebrate and do all kinds of crazy stuff so I'm excited and it's all at night it's supposed to rain at like 9 or 10 hopefully that holds off and uh, yeah heading to the ceremonies Yeah. 
So in the top 16, we were going against our good friend Mike Reich, he runs all of our products and he sells FDF in uh, Quebec. The battle was kind of strange when we initiated, I, it was a little bit slower than I was used to, so I was kind of pedaling on the start you saw, and then I clutch kicked into drift, and I was just like pushing the left foot super hard, trying to slow the car down, and then Mike kind of angled up to go around the first inner clip. <laughs> So it's full throttle past the first inner clip and then there's a slight transition and a decel going past inner clip two and then your full throttle to make it out to the touch and go. So like there isn't a whole lot of decel area in this whole first part of the course and in the chase I was like super hard on the left foot brake trying to slow the car down. And then Mike just, I was already on him and slowing down a ton and then he angled up a little bit and then that was it. I basically couldn't go any slower and it basically either was drive into him or, and driving into him would have resulted in him probably destroying his car at the wall or just like kind of looping it. So that's why we got the win there. But it was super cool so this is something with a spotter where you build up a relationship where you trust i trust what my spotter's telling me and i simply just do it so basically i found in, out in the practice before the night before this track has two transitions meaning you are going through a smoke line the whole time and at night you can't see anything so we had said i said cam during the second transition going into the wall I want you to try and tell me like now, like when to transition. And we hadn't tried it at all. Basically, I was going into the touch and go, about to transition. I had no idea where I was or when to transition because I can't see the wall on this side from the smoke and I can't see the wall on that side uh, also from the smoke. So in the practice before I did transition and I didn't know where I was and the wall was right in front of me. So I almost went into it hard. So basically, Cam, I'll, all I could hear, I'm drifting, I'm like, oh no, where am I? And I hear the now in my headset, and I just switched it back, and I just blasted through the smoke, it was right where I was supposed to be, and I'm just like thinking on his door, I'm like, that was cool. the growth that we're going through it's like we're becoming a team that's going to be unstoppable and we've gone from um, two top eight finishes from eighth to fifth um, and then to first at this event the last three events the progression is like on the incline it's very consistent 
We're never doing a bad run, like even from the first get-go. The spotters, the other teams, they're telling us like, you guys are the ones to look out for. You guys are the most consistent. We never spin out, we never over-rotate. We have confidence in the tire now that we're using Zecnovas. And it seems like um, whenever the car and myself are in this uh, mindset and the team is, is functioning well, like the only way we're gonna lose is by some mundane thing, like something that is not controlled by us, which is an incredible spot to be in. We took the win in the top four battle against Martin Langlois and that gave us a guaranteed first or second in this competition, um, which already right off the bat is the best finish we've had this year. But we saw that the rain started to come, the winds really picked up, fans started to start leaving or start looking for cover basically. Before the battle started, I saw the lightning in the distance. Um, so we weren't really sure what the event coordinators were gonna do about this. This track is basically concrete um, and the water has nowhere to go so it just sits on top of the track meaning it is ice complete ice as soon as water hits it so on our way back to the pits um, we were just preparing for a battle um, and then one of the actually i heard cam over the radio saying that they wanted to shut down the event With us being the only ones guaranteed in the finals, um, they had the other two drivers, Mayo and Tommy. Basically, it was just the three of us left with only one of us guaranteed as first or second. So what they decided to do was give the prize money divided by three. So $8,000 divided by three gives us like about $2,700 each. And then they gave me the first place check, and uh, but technically they gave the three of us a split first place pot with us having the slight advantage of being the only one guaranteed. Um, I'm really happy and we're having fun finally so this is the important thing about what we're doing this for is that it, it makes our brand look really good that's the main goal is for the brand and then also to enjoy life while doing it and we're we're in our groove we're in the rhythm and we are absolutely enjoying every second of it so thank you guys for watching all the videos we just appreciate it so we're gonna keep doing what we're doing the next rounds are not for a while a uh, month month and a half we've got some cool things that we're gonna update on the car thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one